All right. Um, today I'm going to show you a quick video um, when you're making broadcasts in Kartra. Um, I totally forgot about this. So it was like making my Black Friday emails. Um, so the, and then I guess I could explain what a broadcast is versus a sequence. So a sequence is just kind of like automated. So say someone opts in to your freebie, they're going to be automatically tagged as something and that's going to trigger an email sequence. So it's like already um, automated and set to go, like no matter what time or day it is, it's just happening when someone triggers the tag and enters the email sequence. That's basically what a sequence is compared to a broadcast. This is like, think of like your weekly newsletters or you have something that is like at a specific date and time that's happening and you wanna send out emails that way. It's just good to um, basically send this as a, as a broadcast. So the way you get here, is again my communications then you go to this up here communications then you just hover over you basically hover over it and then you'll see broadcasts and then you click the green button new broadcast and then it'll take you through these steps you'll get to the message you'll go to single email and I actually wanted to show you the advanced version of this so this is the basic version this is just like there's no um, footer or header, um, and it's just like a basic font. I mean, obviously you can change it, right? And you can change the color and the, you know the font size and all that. You can add links. Um, all of that, all all of that is a possibility with this feature. But here's what I want to show show you. And if you want to do like first name, all these dynamic variables, all you would have to do is copy it and like paste it here. And then it would automatically populate the email, um, the person's first name. Okay. And then you can enter all this information into it if you wanted to, but not needed in my case. Okay. So how you would do advanced. So think of it advanced as just like a fancier like email template. So it's just customizable and you can drag and drop different things into the email. So one, I'm just gonna copy all this and then I'm gonna click advanced. And then I actually have a template saved and then I'm just gonna drag and drop that into this section here. So alignment is centered and then you can also check like desktop mobile. Um, I like the canvas background I guess you can like preview it that way, but just click on design templates. You can make your own templates. There's like so many in here, um, but I already have one made. So just go back, go to my templates. So I have this one that I just saved. Um, and then I have this one like from my welcome email sequence which has like a cute little picture and then it has your um, social handles there. So that's kind of nice that like it's already saved. But I wanna use this one because I put in a um, timer. Um, but let's see, I'm gonna drag and drop this here and show you exactly how to add the timer in. Okay, let's get out of that. So there's other, um, I'm just gonna like delete all this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna basically, paste paste and all that stuff okay okay so this is my text that i originally had um and if you want to put in the, a link like you could just make this a link for the word here you just go here paste it there and then click okay <clears throat> so that's how i got the link in there um, the emojis, I just use this Google Chrome extension and I know on a Mac you can do control command space, I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> oh yeah, there it goes, popped up. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's another way that you can just get emojis right off the bat on your keyboard. Um, okay, so here's my social handles. Here's like my little footer. But what I want to show you and what I want to add to this particular email <clears throat> is a deadline. So here's like the headlines you could, 
you know, you can put in there. This is just like a text box. So essentially this was just like a basic text box there <clears throat> that I dragged and dropped. Um, content, there's different templates for that. Um, if you want an image, you can do a little image box and then, you know, cool little buttons. Like if you want like an actual button, videos, headers, all the things, call to action, testimonials, footers. Okay. So what I want to show you is the countdown because I think this is pretty critical. I like this plain white one. Um, I think this is pretty critical because this is a Black Friday offer that is expiring on a certain date and I want to show a little more ur urgency with a countdown timer. So what you do is you drag it to the bottom. I wish you could drag it in the actual text content box, but you can't. That's okay. <laughs> Not the end of the world. All right, and then you would just hover over it. So you can like edit the background of the actual timer box. I don't need to edit that. White is fine. But if I want to edit the time, the timer countdown, just click edit <clears throat> that little pencil. You can customize the background color and the text color. I'm not even gonna bother with that because it's fine the way it looks for me. So this is a fixed date and time, right? Like my Black Friday offers end on December 2nd, technically, which is Cyber Monday. Um, and then I'm just going to do, so this, their clock in Kartra is like in military time. So just keep that in mind when you're like um, setting your timers. So I'm just going to do like 2,300 hours. Um, and then. I'm trying to try to do like 59. So let's see if I could do 59. It's doing 58. I think that's close enough. Um, so that means it would be like midnight Eastern, right? Cause that's the time that it's showing right here. So that's like the last day that people can get the deals for Black Friday. Okay, and then from here, all you would have to do um, after you have your template customized, you just save as a template. So hit that save button and then say like saving in progress. It's kind of slow. <laughs> and then it says template has been saved your favorites. Okay, so then all you would have to do for the next email is um, just scroll, scroll back up, go to my templates, and then it's that one right there that didn't have any pictures in it. So yeah, and then you can also like delete these just click the x um and that's that and then from here you, all you would have to do if you like everything all of the spell, spelling errors are good to go um i don't know if you guys use grammarly but i really use i really love using it it's this um google chrome extension here and it just will you know you can hover over it and it'll say like what what it thinks it should say um so sometimes most of the times right <laughs> um okay so now all, all you'll do is do save a next right you got your timer in there i don't need any automations for this particular email and then you just do save a next again this one is going to go out i think this one was for the 25th yeah okay at 9 a.m save a next done that's it